Senior Night for Wabonzi Valley Baseball as the Warriors honor their veteran players and their families pregame ahead of a DVC matchup with the Naperville North Huskies who are hoping to spoil the party. But it was the home team kicking off a celebratory evening in the first inning as senior Jacob Keating dives across home plate on a wild pitch from Luke Wagner. Tyler Patton then got his first of what would be several RBIs on the night as his fielder's choice ground out brings home Blake Petrick to make it 2-0 after one. In the third inning, the Huskies get two men on with only one out, but third baseman Mason Ringenbach is able to turn the double play by himself and end the threat. When the Warriors get two men on in the bottom of the inning though, they do convert. Patton with a blast over the fence in left center for a three-run bomb and a 5-0 lead for Obanzi Valley. No shortage of offense to cheer on for the big senior day crowd. And the Warriors can play small ball too. Ben Ford lays down the squeeze bunt and Michael Pache comes flying home to make it a six-run lead for the hosts who could do no wrong in this game. In the bottom of the fourth, Patton notches his fifth RBI of the night as he knocks in Xander Ciodelars to bring the Warriors within sight of a run rule victory at 9-0. Wabonzi got to a double-digit lead courtesy of Rinkenbach, who drives in two to put his team on the doorstep with an 11-0 lead heading to the fifth inning. While the Warriors were celebrating a big offensive performance, pitcher Carter King made sure there was no such joy for the Huskies offense as he held them scoreless with four strikeouts. King gets a ground out to end the game and Wabonzi Valley celebrates senior night in style with an 11-0 shutout of Naperville North in five innings. Um, yeah, it was great. This is definitely one of the closest teams that I've been with in my life and so um, it's just really nice to go out there and win a game for them. Um, I just when I'm getting ahead of pitch, I mean ahead of batters, um, throw in first pitch strikes. Um, then I had my changeup working, which was really nice. And then Coach Bausch was calling pitches, he kept feeding me the changeup, which I enjoy. After seeing the hard contact, I knew someone was going to be able to get a hold of one. I just, you know, didn't know it was going to be me at that point. Um, I was just honestly sitting fastball. Um, they threw me a couple breaking balls for balls, and uh, I was just knowing he was going to come with the strike. It's really special, you know. Last year. Uh, being out here with all the guys as a junior, seeing them get to do it, it's just really special to be a part of it myself. This this upper class above us, they taught they taught us all so much. They got they're just like all team players, if that makes sense. We got so many leaders on the team, and they they really like they pick you up and they teach you. It's the best. It's it's the best. I mean, you got everyone talking it up. You got everyone having a good time. I mean, all my guy, all the guys here. I mean, we love each other. We're having a great time out here and it's, it's really special to share with them.